Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, a little while ago, I posted some clips of a pedal called the Zoom A14 that I discovered on Amazon. I thought this was an amazing product for the price, a real useful tool for beginners and professionals alike, and I was very impressed by it. Now, since then, I believe a lot of people have purchased it, a lot of people are using it, and some people still on the fence have asked me to make a video and I felt like I wanted to do this anyway. It's such a cool product that I want to make people aware of. It's very affordable and it's very impressive. So there's the spoiler for you. The thing is this pedal does so many things. There's so much I could show you and I don't want to make an hour long video. So let me show you how I would use it, how I have used it and the things I really like about it. For more information, you can see their website at Zoom. I'll put links below, including a link to Amazon, where if you're in the USA, you can purchase the pedal directly. So you can go straight to that link and buy it. There are two versions. There's actually a version of this with an expression pedal added on. I did look into it, but I don't really use that. I don't use wah or volume swells on the acoustic. So I didn't think it'd be useful for me, but you may want to get that version. It's a bit more money. I will put a link to that there as well. But today we're looking at the regular A14 from Zoom. So when you purchase this thing, this is the box it comes in. Very nice box. Actually, yeah, it is a nice box. <laughs> and then inside, we have instructions. We have a whole set of batteries. This thing runs on batteries, which is appealing to a lot of people. And we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six AA batteries included. I am using batteries, but also powers from USB, and that's how I'm powering it today, to save battery. Also comes with a microphone attachment. You can use a microphone with this. I didn't even use that yet and then you get the pedal itself. So here's what's amazing about this pedal. I think it's great value for money and I haven't even used all the features yet. So it comes with this mic attachment. You can actually use this with a microphone and add effects. So I know a guy that plays harmonica. This would be ideal. It's got reverbs, distortions, EQs. I mean, I'll show you the list on the screen of all the different effects it has. Like, check this out. Look at this, this is compressors. This is different, uh, more compressors. There's so many compression models. Auto Wah, Crybaby Wah Wah, Seven Band EQ, Parametric EQ. You can load all these in into different blocks and then make different presets. Piezo, uh, for bass, by Piezo simulators. Um, Fishman Tone EQs, Bags DI models. So they're basically copies of those pedals. They're all their versions, not copies. They're Zoom's version of it. Um, Split high and low splitters, low EQ shelf, high EQ envelope filters. I mean, look at I'm only halfway through here. This is just the filters. Then we're going to get onto a saxophone filter. So if you play saxophone, there's a filter just for your sax. Um, drive distortion pedals, amp simulator again, great for harmonica, or if you want to try and do some um, acoustic guitar distortion. I guess you could even use it with electric guitar, but there's only one amp. Um, Ring modulators, octavers, detuners. I'll keep going, but this is all on the website. Choruses, bass octave, more choruses. Choruses again for just for saxophone, polyphonic uh, pitch shifting, envelope filters, reverbs, all different reverbs, and you can tweak all the parameters. That the parameters are all listed there. So I encourage you go to their website, check these out. Volume pedals, if you've got the one with the volume, the expression pedal, you've got volume pedals. You've basically got every effect here you could ever want and more. Even modeling, which I've done a demo of on my channel. Please subscribe. Yeah, modeling of different guitars. So you can load those up. It can make your pickup sound better. We'll test that out in this video as well. But as well as all that, it's got a tuner. So in a way, this thing is great just as a tuner. Now, what I do these days is when I get a product with a tuner on it, I compare it to my Peterson Strobe Tuner, because for me, that's the gold standard. And I compared this one and it was really spot on. I mean, I always prefer the real Strobe Tuners, but this was spot on. So just as a tuner, this thing is amazing. And then you can customize it to what you want. Maybe you want to have a reverb, a delay, a chorus. Maybe you just want to have like four EQs. You know how I've done videos on EQ recently. Well, you could use this as the super EQ pedal. This could just literally be in your gig bag as a super duper EQ pedal and tuner. Even that, I feel, justifies the cost of this pedal. It's also light, portable, and runs off battery or USB. If you've got something like the JBL Eon that I reviewed recently with a USB out, it will power this pedal. 
It also has a drum machine, really for practicing, but you could use it live, and a looper. You know, basic stuff, but it works. I'm, I, as you can probably tell by the tone of my voice, I'm really, 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 really impressed with this product. And if you're looking for your first effects pedal, or if you're a professional looking for a kind of do-it-all pedal, spare thing to have in your bag to pull out, like say say you've already got a, a Helix or something and it's maxed out, you've got no blocks left to, or effects to use in it, and you really want a chorus, add this in. It can be a chorus. It can be anything you want. And the effects from Zoom sound really good. They really do. Let's get on with the demo. Something, so okay, so here's the tuner. So you see I'm perfectly in there. Oh, bring that up. I will try to mute the guitar as much as I can as we go so you hear the pedal and not the guitar. This is a Ma my Martin with the LR Bags full anthem system. I've got most of the mic dialed in now. Later on I'll show you just the piezo with the, the modeling. But okay, let's see what this sounds like. So you turn it on, this is all set to factory. And it loads up actually on preset 10. You've got user presets too, and it sounds like this. Now check this out. That's the reverb. Wow, it's a good reverb. Now, of course, you can go in here, you can edit. This is what we've got so far. We've got a model of a D28 and these other three effects. You can find the EQ, which is a plate here. And of course, you can edit it, okay? So you just click on edit and it brings it up. So I can have less mix and a longer decay. Let's try that. That's huge. That's too much mix. I can have, yeah, sometimes I like to have a long decay and a little bit of mix. That's a big reverb. Let's bring it right down and see what happens. Also bring the, the, the decay down a bit. See, that's nice, it's in the background there. Now, we can do it all like I just showed you from here, and we can also access the rhythms here. I'll just show you the rhythms. You press the rhythm button, and you've got different ones that you can select. Here's a metronome, which is great for practice, and this shows you here, this will start it playing. That's just a metronome, so you can practice at home. This is amazing. This has a headphone out, so you can also practice with it. A great practice tool. You can change the volume and the speed and also the type of beat. So these are the beats you have. They're all metronomes. I mean, I mean, that actually sounds really good. Country. Wow, I, I tell you what, I'm not kidding. This is fun, I'm having fun. Again, just that is fun, wow. And then I'll turn that off, I'll go to the looper. And you can run the drum beat and record the looper as well. Now, it's, I wouldn't say you can use this on stage. You can use it on stage, but the drums, if you, know, you can't switch with your feet, you have to use your hand, your finger to change the mode. And it's not ideal. For, I actually sent Zoom an email saying with a small firmware update, I believe this could be used on stage. If you could tap in the BPM and switch between modes, but you know, it's easy to say to a company, oh, I wish it did this, I wish it did that. It's not really fair. This is a great product as it is. And again, for practicing, there's just probably nothing better um, at this price anyway. So you hit record and you press it and it's playing. You can stop it and you can hold down to delete it. It's a good looper, it's very good. Now what's amazing actually about this looper, which is so useful and all gear should have this, you can change the position from post to pre. Now what does that mean? Well, usually you have a looper at the end so it records all your effects and everything and you can listen back with the effects, right? But if you put it into pre, it won't record the effects. It'll be as if you're playing the guitar. In fact, I'll use it in this video, I'll record myself and it will be just playing back without the guitar and I can then manipulate the effects and show the effects without having to mute the mic because I'm playing the guitar. Basically a sound check mode. So imagine you show up to your gig 
and you put this down and you record something and you walk out, oh, it's too much reverb and you just change the reverb on the pedal. That might sound confusing, but trust me, it's incredibly, it's an incredibly useful tool. And again, everything should have this feature. Some things like the Helix do and the Kemper too, but to have it in this form factor, think of the possibilities, it could be really useful. So let me record something and I'll put the looper pre and I'll show you later on what it does. Okay, there's my loop. I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna keep that loop for later on. You'll see why. All right, turn the looper off. Now you can do all these settings and everything from the unit. It's got headphones, guitar in, guitar out, battery power, USB power. As far as I'm concerned, the things I've shown you already are incredible. But there's more. If you go to your computer, there's an app to control and program. It's called Zoom Lab. It will check for latest firmware. It will let you edit the device. Now what happens is when you open the Zoom Lab and you plug it in with the cable, it will switch into PC mode and you'll see on the screen here, but this is how I would make a patch. So these are all my effects down the side here. This is the patch that I've got and there's user patches and there's presets as always. Then there's the editor, which is how you edit the patch. And again, it will tell you, I mean, look at this editor. This editor is as good as some of the, you know, the premium stuff out there. Some things don't even have editors like this. This is great. And it makes creating a patch so easy. So this is the one I was playing. This is the D Martin D28. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you as I go. So I don't need the guitar right now. This is the loop that I recorded. That's what the modeling does. You hear it adds body? I don't really need that because I've got a good pickup in here. I've got the anthem. That's the compressor. So again, you can try it without it. Do you like it? You can turn off the EQ. You can turn off the reverb. So that's now the straight through signal. That's just my signal there. You'll just hear the guitar straight through the looper. And then I can play around with it. I can change the type of reverb. The percentage is how much memory it uses in the system. You do only have this, this amount of blocks and a certain amount of DSP memory, but you can make another preset. You can make just a load of presets. As always, don't use too much effect. Let's try some EQing. Hear that? This is so easy to do. Low cut. A notch, great for uh, reducing feedback. So how about that? Let's try another effect here, a new type. Let's try something fun. Modulation. Chorus. I'm not a big chorus fan, but you may be. I have to close that. Let me bring the mix down. Isn't this easy? Anyone can do this. It's nice. It's like a thickening effect. Let's try another one. Flanger. Let's try some delay. You can even tap the tempo in one, two, three. You can't do this on the pedal. I wish you could, but you can just tap here. One, two, three, four, as it's playing. So I think you can hear the effects are very effective. The effects are very effective. I mean, I, I, I'm really kind of, I haven't actually used this pedal for a few, for a few days and I'm like, I forgot how cool this thing is. This is amazing. And I haven't even, as I said, I haven't touched the surface. But I just want to show you how good the effects are. Let me show you this delay, look.
a great delay. That's just one of the many things it does. And as, as I said, you can make multiple effects, you can try their presets. There's even, if you go to the effects list, other ones you can add. If you click on filter here, if you see one that's not um, on there, you can actually add it to the pedal. And of course you could remove, say the saxophone ones. If you don't want those, you can remove them. This thing is abs, I mean, I can't, I got nothing to say. If, if you've already got a, a, a pedal board and you've already got a helix or something, you don't need this, okay, fine. Maybe get it as a backup, maybe get it as a, yeah, leave. I mean, you, this is so light, it weighs nothing. You can just leave it in your guitar bag. It's that cool. But if you don't have any effects yet, this is the place to start. You can get this, you can try things out, see what you want, see if you need effects. And then you can go into the world of like Helix or pedal boards if you need to. Start with this. Great metronome, great looper, great effects great everything and again you can customize it to what you want you can just make it all reverbs or all delays or i you know just use it for sound check put it away again i don't know it does so many things and it does them so well now one last thing i do have a mic in here i'll turn the mic off there's your quacky piezo right great for cut but not everyone's favorite sound let me turn off the effects so as I said in the beginning, this has the zoom modeling. So here's a D28, very similar to this guitar. I would recommend choosing a similar guitar, and also I'd recommend auditioning all the models to find the one that sounds the best. But if I turn it on, it sounds like this. It rounds off that harsh sound, check it out. But it also loses definition. There is not a mix control, that would be amazing if I could just blend in a little bit of this, but there isn't sadly, but there is an EQ. So, I'll try taking a bit of bass out, boosting the highs a bit. Mm. Just to make it cut a bit more, because it's lost the cut. It's a bit too much. I'll try adding this instead. I just put, like, this is without it. I just like the way it cuts. Yeah, I wish there was a blend. You might like it. You might like that really warm sound. And of course, the other thing you can do is you can dial in an EQ here to compensate. You can find the exact mid frequency with a parametric EQ and really play around with it, again, while the loop is playing back. So that's really nice to have too. Some people love that modeling. It's, um, I'm not sure how they do it exactly. It does sound good. You can dial it in with the EQs and different things to sound really good. The gain is just a volume. It's not like a blend, as far as I can see. No. So I do wish they would add a blend control. I'd like to see that in the future. But like I said, if you play around with this EQ and the main EQ here as well, I'm not sure how this will translate directly, recorded directly, but to me, it's just a little, you know, just find that sweet spot where it's just a little bit better, a bit more natural. And make sure, of course, you add your reverb and delays and choruses. How about that? So there we go, the Zoom A14, it's got everything. It's got effects, looper, tuner, editor. You know, it's, it, it's, not, it's not the be and end all, it's not the, it's not the last pedal you'll ever buy, but it's an amazing addition. And if you don't need many effects, it may be the last pedal you ever buy. And if you're new to effects, you're absolutely spoiled by this pedal. You've got a tuner, a practice tool, a looper, a drum machine to practice with, even perform with all the effects you could ever imagine. Maybe you haven't tried some of these effects before. And there's, there's so many things like, there's actually a, um, let me just find it. There's actually like pitch, there's a bass, you know, a, a, um, an octave down. So for example, Now you can take the wet sound, the dry sound out and just have that bass, bass sound. I 
okay so you could loop that you could have the drums playing loop that loop the guitar over the top and make a whole like song it's it's you can make this as simple or as complicated as you like but it's so easy it's so intuitive and it all sounds really good and for the money it's incredible i highly recommend this pedal definitely check it out it's got my endorsement like again it's not going to replace a full pedal board with individual specific pedals but as a one-stop shop and a, definitely as a backup definitely as a as a travel round companion because it just lives in your bag your gig bag with batteries in it you just you know if you're an open mic or something it's ideal you just pull it out plug it in go you know if the, if you need a bit more bass cut you just reach down just turn the bass down so easy and so much fun at home amazing practice tool put your headphones in take it on vacation with you it's fantastic if you bought one please comment below what you think of it if you like it and if you didn't buy one check them out i think it's great i really do again if you're using saxophone or harmonica that's another string to your bow um yeah the zoom a14 links below in the description thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time until then keep rocking thank you guys